continuing on with the flap assembly, I've got the um, ribs in place. I've got the bottom skin on and I've got everything match drilled. You can see just as a note here these um, where the ribs meet the skin on this bent reinforcement area. I forget what they call this. It doesn't matter. It, it's almost like a secondary spar. Anyway, you can see that the uh, the ribs meet back here really, really nice. I don't have a need for shims between the rib and this skin in here. And they're all the same. And that's really nice. I don't have to worry about making those little shims. Uh, the other flap was the same way on the left wing. It fit really nice with no shims. So I've got this all clico together. I've got it match drilled already. All of these holes here for the ribs to the skin have been match drilled. And the uh, underneath here, these holes underneath on all the ribs have been match drilled to the skin. So now I'm setting up the hinge. <clears throat> Basically all I've got here is I've, I've got the hinge even with the end of the spar. I've got it even with the spar along this edge as well. And then I just took a marker and I marked underneath here where I need to cut the hinge. So now I'm going to cut the hinge and I'll put it back on here and get ready to start drilling. Be aware though before you make this cut to pull the hinge pin out. You don't want to cut the hinge pin yet. You want to cut the hinge only. So after you get your mark in here, uh, make sure you mark both legs and then um, pull the hinge pin out because you don't want to cut that. Here's my flap from the left wing. You can see that the hinge is in place and I still have the full length hinge pin on it for now. Alright, so let me get this cut and uh, see what happens. I'm fitting the hinge to the flap. What I had done with the other flap, and it actually worked out extremely, extremely well, after cutting the flap length or the hinge length, so you can see I've got the, the hinge even here with the end of the spar, and then it, it is, of course, even with the end of the spar here as well. So what I do is the edge of the hinge that's between the knuckles, this edge in here, I line that up flush with the edge of the spar. And you can see, well, you probably won't be able to. I'll have to take a picture. But the this edge of the hinge is even with the edge of the spar. And that worked out really, really nice. When I attached that flap to the left wing and got it all configured, you could see that the holes on the wing side of the hinge are pretty much right down the center. And it's the same for this side. These holes are pretty much dead center down the length of the hinge. So I'm doing the same thing with this flap. Again, I'm taking this edge, <coughs> this edge here between the knuckles of the hinge and making it flush with the edge of the spar. So I have it clamped in place. These clamps that are spaced far apart, these are just basically to hold it. It is lined up correctly, but these are just to hold, it, to keep it from, from wandering like this down at this other end. I'm going to start drilling at this end. So the end that I'm working on, I've got a lot more clamps because I want to make sure that this doesn't move. So I've got it even with the spar. I've got it flush with the spar here. And I'm going to start drilling one at a time and Clico. As I drill, I'll realign the hinge and move the Clicos, but I want to keep a, a decent amount of Clicos right concentrated in the area where I'm drilling so the hinge doesn't move. 
and it's just a matter of match drilling the skin, the spar, and then drilling through the hinge. Just to demonstrate what I'm doing, I'm going to go ahead and uh, drill some of these holes for the hinge real time. So I've got my clamps on. I've already drilled a couple of holes and I'm just working my way down with the Clecos. I'm going to put on my magnifying glasses so I can get a really good view of the hinge, make sure it's still in alignment. So yeah, it still looks like it's in the right location. This is, a, this is a number 40 drill bit, so I'll go ahead. Clean that off. Grab a Clico. <clears throat> and work my way down, making sure the hinge is not moved. Now I'm sure some of you are probably thinking, why doesn't this fool use a drill stop? I don't really care for drill stops. I'm usually pretty good at uh, feeling when the drill bit's going to punch through. So it's very rare that I run the drill motor into whatever it is I'm drilling. I don't have anything against drill stops. They're just not for me most of the time. So that's pretty much it. You just keep checking alignment and uh, drill in Clico. Now that I'm moving out into this area and these are Clicoed, I can go ahead and move my clamps. Might as well do that hole now. Now I've gained an extra clamp, this one here. Since I'm going to use a Clico here in its place, now I can make use of this clamp. And like I said, since I'm working my way down, I can start moving these. So I'll recheck this a little bit. You want to make sure, too, that your clamp doesn't get hung up on the knuckles. You want to make sure that it actually pinches the hinge, the spar, and the skin, that it doesn't get caught on the fat knuckle. These longer clamps are a little bit nicer for that very reason. These short ones, they're a little bit more pudgy and they, they tend to get hung up on the knuckle before it really clamps the uh, material. So you got to be a little bit more careful with them. All right, that still looks good. See if I'm still in camera. Yep. So that's it. Just moving on down. <clears throat> and of course, I'll do this all the way down until the hinge is complete. And then, uh, Clean up my mess. 
Just a little side note here, I've switched over to a longer number 40 drill bit because that gives me more room to work around the Clecos and these clamps without driving the nose of the drill into the Cleco or the clamp. And of course it gives you more room so you don't, when you pop through the other side, you don't come down and hit your skin. So this is a better alternative. And uh, like I said, it just gives you more room to work through here. So that's it.